Hey, what's going on YouTube? Jeff from Torpedoes and Tarantulas here. So, I did a video last night on my scorpions. Basically, just kind of a feeding and watering video, and you got to look at them. And then I wasn't going to do any more videos on my scorpions for a while, because honestly, they don't do a whole lot. But I got a comment from a subscriber on that video, and he brought up a good point. So, it's forced me to do another video. So, I got a comment from... Scott Whitemeyer or Wittemeyer, I'm not sure which. Hopefully I didn't butcher that name, but if I did, forgive me, buddy. Scott says, I know nothing about scorpions, so maybe a little info on where the different species are found in the world. It's a great point, Scott. I didn't really think about that, so here you go, buddy. This video is for you and for anyone else who's kind of interested um, in where these scorpions are found in the world. Before I get to that, let me break down my collection. I own seven different species. Of scorpion I have three new world species and I have four old world species all of the scorpions I have are very hot as they call it meaning they have a high venom level so all of the scorpions that I have you definitely wouldn't want to um, try to handle them or anything like that but of course if you saw my video last night scorpions are really not aggressive or defensive um, that much in any way like tarantulas certain species of tarantulas can be but anyway all of that being put out there, now we're going to go ahead and start here. And this is the first of my New World Scorpions. This is the Centroidus Sculpturatus, or the Arizona Bark Scorpion. Now this is the deadliest scorpion in the U.S., but that doesn't mean that the scorpion can kill you because it can't. It just means it has a higher venom level than any other scorpion in the U.S. And you know that this is a communal. I bought a three-pack of these guys, and... The guy actually sent me six of them, and I'm down to four, so I don't know if they cannibalized each other or what, but, I mean, you can see, guys, they're still pretty tiny, but they're also not aggressive. It's not trying to sting me. Of course, if I put my thumb down on it and press down, it may try to sting me, but they're just not super aggressive. They're just really interesting creatures. So, the Arizona Bark Scorpion is from the Sonoran Desert in the southwest United States, in northwestern Mexico, the males get a little over three inches, three to three and a quarter inches, whereas females are, are more about two and three quarter inches, so they don't get very big. But these guys, as I mentioned last night, as you can see, this guy's staying, they like to be vertical. They practice what's known as negative geotaxis, so they stay off the ground, further away from predators. So that has been the Arizona Bark Scorpion. Let's move on to the next one. All right, and so next up we have the Centroidus guanensis. I know, that's a mouthful. This is the Cuban bark scorpion. You guys saw her last night when I tried to feed her, and she rejected the food. But there she is. This is the Cuban bark scorpion. This is a confirmed female. This is the only one that I bought that the uh, sex was confirmed on. You can see she's not huge, but she is an adult. She's already given me babies. It was actually quite a surprise. I just looked in on her probably three weeks or four weeks after I got her, and she had a bunch of babies on her back. I'm trying to raise some of them now, but there she is. So the Centroidus guanensis, or Cuban bark scorpion, is found in Florida, the Bahamas, and Cuba. Males can get to two and three-quarter inches, whereas females are... Um, over two and a quarter to two and a third inches. Like I said, you can see there's, she is a female and she is full grown and that's how big she is. So again, not aggressive, not trying to attack me. So guys, don't be freaked out by scorpions. They're not as, as crazy or deadly or whatever as people think they are. But there you go, guys. That is the Cuban bark scorpion. Let's move on to the last new world. All right, so last but not least of my new worlds, this is the Centroidus sculpturatus. This is the Florida Bark Scorpion. This one is more widespread than the other two species that you have seen. This scorpion here hails from Mexico, Guatemala, Belize, and Honduras. That's where they are basically native to. And then they are in other areas as an introduced species. They are in Cuba, Panama, Colombia, Ecuador, Jamaica, and Florida. And they were also introduced in Africa, in Cameroon and Gabon, as well as the Canary Islands. 
This is the largest of the New World species that I have. The females get to almost four inches, whereas the males can get to almost six inches. So again, you can kind of see this one's a bit larger. This guy is probably, oh, I would say three inches tail and all. If it were stretched, stretched out, again, not aggressive, not trying to bite me, but of course I wouldn't want to bump it with my finger. But there you go, guys. That has been the Florida Bark Scorpion, and that wraps up all of my New World Scorpions, so let's move on to the Old Worlds. I forgot to mention, this is the only one last night that I did not feature on camera, and it was just simply because I forgot about it, and then when, once I realized that I forgot to show it, I decided to try to give it some food, and of course it took a roach right off the tongs for me, so of course the only scorpion that I didn't put on camera actually fed for me last night, so whatever. Let's go on to the old worlds. Alright, so the next scorpion to be featured, and my first old world, this is the Laurus jordanensis. This is the black deathstalker scorpion. It did not feed on camera for us last night, but as you can see, there are no prey items left in here, so it did eat. These scorpions are very hot, so this is not one that I would want to get tagged by. Of course, it would not kill me unless I were an elderly person or a child or someone with um, heart issues or something, but it would make you wish you were dead. So I definitely don't ever plan on getting tagged by this thing. With the Laoris jordanensis, the black deathstalker scorpion is from Jordan. In Saudi Arabia adult size it doesn't say if males or females adult size can be anywhere from almost three inches to four and a half inches so kind of a wide range there I found more information on some of these scorpions than I did others so just bear with me on that so that's basically all that I have here on the black deathstalker scorpion um, this is another baby as you can see it's quite small compared to my finger so it's got a lot of growing to do so there you go that has been Laoris jordanensis as a feeder roach crawls around up there on a rock. The Laoris jordanensis, the black death stalker scorpion. All right, and so up next we have the Hadentata frans Freneri. As you can see, there's no common name. These are, in my opinion, the most one of the most beautiful scorpion species out there. Definitely the most beautiful species that I own right now. Um, now, of course, none of these guys fed on camera last night, but you can see now this one has eaten. There are no other prey items running around in the enclosure anymore. The Hottentata Franz Frenieri, I found very little information on this guy, but they are from northern Africa, mainly from Algeria. The, uh, the adults get to about two and three quarter inches, and that was all that I could really find on these guys. So hopefully, as these guys kind of grow in the hobby, um, and maybe myself, we can kind of help share some information on them. But there has been one of my favorites, the Hadentata Franz Freneri. Up next here, we have the Laurus Conquestriatus. I had to show you guys that label. That is a hell of a mouthful. And so I just want you guys to see how that it's, that it's spelled. And just, just to let you appreciate how hard it is to pronounce that scorpion. But this is the Deathstalker scorpion. One of the most popular um, in the hobby, in my opinion, really. Um, and from what I've seen from people that, have, uh, that are keeping adult specimens, they can have quite the attitude. Uh, of course, this one is still quite a small little scorpling. But they are, they are beautiful as well. Uh, let's see. Again, baby, not very big. That's as close as I want to get my fingers to it. So the Laurus conquestriatus, the death stalker scorpion, comes from the Sahara and Arabian deserts, the Thar Desert, Central Asia from Algeria and Mali in the west, through to Egypt, Ethiopia, Asia Minor, and the Arabian Peninsula, eastwards to Kazakhstan and western India in the northeast and southeast. And these guys... Adult size can be between 1.25 to 3 inches with an average of 2, two and a quarter inches. So they're not a huge scorpion, but you definitely wouldn't want to get tagged by this guy because this is the second deadliest scorpion in the world. They're a venom level 5. So as I said, it wouldn't kill you, but you would wish that you were dead. 
So there we go. That has been the Deathstalker Scorpion. Let's move on to the last one. Okay, guys, the last and deadliest scorpion in my collection here. And you can see the remainders of its victims down there in the enclosure. It has already finished eating. This, guys, is the Hottentata Tamulus, the Indian Red Scorpion. This is the most venomous scorpion on planet Earth. So, definitely would never want to get tagged by this thing. But, again, this one is actually quite a small specimen. They're all babies. Let me see here. Again, comparison to my finger, they are quite small. So, the Hottentata Tamulus, the Indian Red Scorpion, hails from most of India, eastern Pakistan, the eastern lowlands of Nepal, and from Sri Lanka. And adult size can be anywhere from two to three and a half inches, so... There you go, guys. Scorpions are such fascinating creatures, and they're not as unpredictable and defensive and maybe aggressive and skittish and bolty as tarantulas are. So they're a bit more predictable. Plus, they can't climb smooth surfaces, so you don't have to worry about them running out of an enclosure. So hopefully I can kind of break that stereotype or that stigma about scorpions being evil because they're really not. So I hope that this information was helpful. To you, Scott, and to anyone else out there that might have been interested in that. And for anyone in the uh, the United States that might be interested in getting scorpions, you don't have to get these hot scorpions like I have. But if you're interested in getting any scorpions, I would recommend Pinchers and Pokies. That is where I got all of my scorpions from. Eric and Amanda. Eric is very knowledgeable, very helpful, and he'll work with you as far as, like, making deals and stuff. But of all of the other... Um, Online vendors that I found in the United States that carry scorpions, he has the better variety. So go check him out. Pinchers and Pokies. Scott, I hope that you enjoyed this video. Shout out to you, buddy. Shout out to the rest of you guys. Thank you so much again for watching this video and putting up with me. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. Drop me a comment. If you didn't like the video, give me a thumbs down. Drop me a comment. Don't forget to share and subscribe. Have a great night, guys. Take care of yourselves and each other. And God bless you all.